started out as the perfect Thursday morning. Negative 8 degrees Celsius, 40 centimeters of fresh snow, and nearly the first person in line to get up Cypress Mountain. Unfortunately, this would be my last run of the season, as I would get swept by a minor avalanche into a tree, shattering my femur and bringing an abrupt stop to my season. I would end up pinned up against a tree with a waist-deep burial completely on my own. My crew had gotten separated from me. I was forced to dig myself out and make the decision of getting myself out of there on my own or waiting for a recovery. I decided to roll myself down the hill to expedite the extraction process with my team. Once we were able to make contact, my team called search and rescue and then we were steadfast until the helicopter arrived. It was no joke. I was scared. I would end up shattering my femur into 17 pieces, requiring surgery and a six-night stay at the Hotel Linesgate Hospital. Got my staples out today. Uh, guess it's been 15 days since incident, and exactly two weeks since surgery uh been off painkillers for three full days fourth day now um yeah pain seems to be under control pretty stoked man uh, in theory we're a quarter of the way through the whole healing process but uh Cross those fingers, cause you're not done till you're done. So here we go. Staples out. It's uh, moving the right direction. So pretty stoked on that. Will. <laughs> So, we are at the three week anniversary since uh, I snapped my femur. Uh, been off painkillers for about eight days. Um, getting some range of motion in my knee now. Going to physio twice a week. I can actually shower because my staples are out. So, that's cool. <laughs> no more sponge baths from the wife. Um, yeah, you know, tomorrow's three weeks since the surgery because there's a day after the actual incident. I go see the surgeon uh, next Friday, March 31st. Uh, I'm super excited to get some updates from him and see when I can start bearing weight and really progressing this rehab. But uh, yeah, learning Spanish, um, kind of falling into my ambassador management role with Orbea and just trying to stay patient. You know, it's, uh, it is a slow ass period and there's not much you can do without um, slowing down your recovery as opposed to taking your foot off the gas and just being a passenger. So try to stay positive. Um, <laughs> We're three weeks in so Hopefully I'll be able to wait bear soon and uh, get this thing in motion. Yeah, still stoked. Haven't lost my sanity yet, but it's close. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> oh, this is all I can do as of now.
Trying to get that range back. Yeah. Whew. How's the range looking? 69 degrees. Oh! Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, you're looking glorious. Okay, push. Oh. And relax. Look at you go, boy. We're getting there. You're getting on boat 90. Push. And relax. Okay, lift your... since incident, finally getting some actual pedal strokes with keeping my heel on the pedal. As soon as I can get to the middle of my foot, I'll be able to start riding the bike. So, it's been nine weeks today since surgery. I'm going to see the surgeon today. Hopefully get cleared to start walking. I'm uh, on the trainer bike right now, just warming up my leg to show the best result to my surgeon, but nine weeks, man. Brady over it. So, hope everything goes well today, because I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Got the full airbag set up going here. Courtesy of my buddy Chris. Thanks, dog. Nice big old compression airbags. <laughs> I feel like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Kick out. You kick out. Go ahead. And relax. <laughs> Pretty nice. It feels so good. <laughs> Are you ready to laugh? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, push. Up, 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 up. And relax. Oh, God. <laughs> this hurts you a lot more than it hurts me. <laughs> okay, push. Up, 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 up. And relax. Oh, man. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> Ooh. 
107. Sick. It's an additional seven degrees of luxuriousness. Whew. First bike ride out on this new beautiful Orbea Rise, and we are red bang. <laughs> I got full power on right now. Can Second real bike ride. We're feeling good today. Can't even keep up. Look at you go. 10 weeks in as of today since it's been. Look at you go. Ripping. Slow down. Be done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're at 12 weeks today since incident. It's uh, it's been a long time, but I'm on my first solo bike ride on the road. Uh, I don't think I'd be able to do it without my Orbea Rise, just a little motor assistance. Honestly, I thought I'd be walking it this time, but. It's a lot easier to turn a femur into 17 pieces than it is to turn 17 into one, is what I've learned through this experience. But uh, you know what? I'm still stoked. Got some sweet new toys to look forward to getting on, uh, especially this bad Sally that I'm on currently. But uh, yeah, see the surgeon in three weeks. I'm partial weight bearing now. Hopefully we'll be able to ditch the sticks. But yeah, all good. We're biking. Stoked. We got two weeks today until I see the surgeon. Feeling good up for another ride with my dad, who I haven't ridden bikes with since I was probably single digits. How long would you say? About single digits, I think, too, before you surpassed me. <laughs> That's now I'm enjoying this time where I can actually ride with you. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome, man. I'm on my Orbea Rise, and my dad's on an old city bike I got him years ago. So it's pretty rad. Uh, these bikes are letting us ride together and helping with my recovery, so that's pretty damn cool. Until next time, haha. -ha. What's up, everybody? We're up here in Naramata. Look at that scenery. Oh, nice to change it up. Stoked to be on my rise. Boom. And uh, feeling better by the day. Nice to change up the scenery. Enjoy it up here. All right, whoa, <laughs> almost went down there. All right, doing my first off-road real climb right here with Chris Robanski. He's on a normal bike. I uh, am on my e-bike. My saving grace has been my Orbea rise. And uh, just want to let y'all know I'm having a really, really, really good time. Okay, bye. What's up guys? Okay, we're, uh, we're 18 weeks since incident today and uh, I'm allowed to shred. I'm allowed to ride trails. 
this is insane, man. Like from surgeon telling you that it was a chance of losing your leg to uh, we're going biking, it feels fucking good. And uh, I'm so stoked. So hope you enjoy this ride as much as I do. All right. We are on bobsled now. I'm just taking it easy, but holy moly, does it feel good to be ripping dirt. Oh, uh. we left the ground. We left the ground. <laughs> Woo. Oh, damn. <laughs> I am so happy right now. I'm making noises because I'm so excited. <laughs> We're moving, baby. actually gets to ride dirt. <laughs> Holy. Oh man. <laughs> oh, we back, baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
Oh my God, there's more. Oh, look at this, look at that, look at that. <laughs> okay, I'm into it. Yeah, getting some, get some dust. <laughs> I'm, I'm producing something that means I'm actually moving. That's exciting. <laughs> that was wicked man thanks so much for watching everybody it has been an incredible journey coming back from this injury uh i honestly didn't expect to come back this quick so i really just want to thank all of my family for their continuous support my sponsors for always being there for me and of course my amazing wife who has been through all of this from the beginning and uh i'm not allowed to do it again so <laughs> i'm sure anybody who's married can understand that but huge thanks to jay and ua at performance lab rehab he has been essential in my recovery i highly recommend looking him up if you need any sort of sports recovery and thanks so much for watching everybody it's been crazy we're five and a half months now we're back on the bike feeling strong catch you next time